Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chia the God. Listen, listen, listen. I was gonna make a completely different video and I was just scrolling through you, my tube, and uh, a community post pops off and he goes, Order has no more rivals because since the Wano arc, he's just surpassed Naruto by a long shot and like nobody's on the plane of Oda. The God! Oh my God, Oda! It's not the first time I've seen a post like that, right? On Twitter, you got these One Piece fans like, oh my god, like, Gear 5 is more legendary than... Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Gear 5 is more legendary and more... Antis and more, I don't know, revolutionary and more... And more impactful than fucking Super Saint. Super Saint. Oh my god. Super Saiyan. Oh my. Listen, I knew about Super Saiyan when I was five years old in, in Angola, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even. Like, when I was five years old in Angola and I couldn't even speak English, like, soup, I knew Super Saiyan. I knew Son Goku, bro. I knew him since then, bro. I ain't never heard of One Piece until, like, 2011, bro. You know what I'm saying? I heard of Naruto at around the same time, bro. I've been knowing about Super Saiyan and about Goku and Dragon Ball since, like, I don't even like Dragon Ball, bro. I tried watching it. I don't like Dragon Ball, bro. I don't like Dragon Ball. I love Naruto. I love One Piece. I don't like Dragon Ball. But the audacity, the audacity to say that Gear 5 is on the same level as Super Saiyan is crazy. All that gum gum or Gatling gun is on the same level level as Kamehame. Like what? Are you? What 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 kind of crap do y'all? Y'all just only read One Piece, and that's it. It's like the only media y'all consume is One Piece. Like y'all actually make me want to hate One Piece. But I'm not even gonna lie. One of the reasons it took me so long to get into One Piece was how annoying the fan base was, bro. Just watching the comments on Twitter, and it just infuriated me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I had, I like, literally, it infuriated. I was just like, I don't even want to begin. It, it makes... Now, One Piece fans are actually the most toxic fans. I'm not even going to lie. They're actually the most toxic anime fans. But I thought Jujutsu Kaisen fans are toxic. Trust me, they mega toxic. But holy One Piece fans are a different breed. Because barely anybody brings them up into debates like these. But they love bringing everybody else into debates. Into random debates about no, nothing. Like, who... Kishimoto hasn't written for ages and finally came back and wrote a masterpiece in that Minato One Piece like you know what I'm saying and then he's he's since he's taken over Boruto a bit Boruto's level of writing has skyrocketed like Oda's pacing is shit bro let me just be 100% real with you bro Oda sucks at pacing bro do you know what I mean do you know how pivotal that is if you if you look at it like See, this is the problem because I studied literature in, 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 in university. So my understanding of literature in comparison to most people, so I'm like, like, this is not trying to big myself up. Like, just in comparison to other people. This is, I always get comments like this when I make a video predicting something and everyone's like, oh, this is stupid to think that. Uh, uh, uh. And then when it happens, they're like, oh, it's stupid that it happened. And I'm like, you guys just have shit reading comprehension. That's why you think it's stupid to happen. And this is one thing I like about Jujutsu Kaisen, for example, because it's so ambiguous, right? Ambiguous, like that. It, it's 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 hard to to like know what will happen because there's so many plausible narrative points and hints throughout the story for a, a certain a myriad, uh, you know, a certain amount of outcomes. Right, it's open to a ton of interpretation, but a lot of these other stories don't have that that intricacy, right? And Jujutsu Kaisen has its own problems. Trust me, like it, it has its own problems. Every every story does. That's fine, but it's really good at doing that. But other stories do just narratively imprinted in a certain way. Like I remember now those like uh, Kobe before like last week's chapter. Everyone just he's a fraud. He's too weak. Da 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 da. Two three months ago, and I only started reading One Piece like five six months ago. And I caught up to it. And I knew immediately, like, oh, 
Kobe has the highest potential out of everyone in One Piece, easily, because he started way later than everybody and got way stronger than everybody in a way shorter period of time than everybody ever showcased in the story, ever, period. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, everybody. Way, way, way faster. Luffy started out his Grand Line story, oh, he's like, story, like, already super strong, right? Zoro started off already known as the bounty hunter. As the pirate hunter. You know what I'm saying? But look at Kobe, bro. He started off the story unable to do anything. Now he's punching. He's using Conqueror's Haki or whatever. And going crazy. And, it, and it, you know, I watched a video recently. Because I wasn't sure. Because I, I, I wasn't really sure. But it, it's definitely Conqueror's Haki. And I'll, I'll make a video separately about that. But he used that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people then were shocked, like, oh my god, how can he have Conquest Haki? Haki and Sanji doesn't? Because his goals, brother, it's it's literally like a dream thing. It's like a goal thing. If it's like how big your ambition is dictates whether you can have Conquest or not. That's all it is. You know what I mean? That's why Zoro has it. That's why Kobe is going to have it, because he's going to be the leader of the Marines. Fleet Admiral. He's going to be the top dog. So he he has it. Most of I reckon most of the the the, the admirals. Well, I'd say Akaino and uh, and Akaji or, or Kuzan. I say both of them probably have it. Um, but maybe Kuzan might not because of his lazy justice. That might be the only thing holding him back. But he also did fight Akaino for like ten days, um, and created Punk Hazard as as it is. As a result of the crazy battle, and though somewhat even, so obviously Akaiji is super strong. But this is also like the problem. Even like the thing is, the problem is in the just One Piece community, even within its own story, don't understand the story that well. Like another comment section, another thing was saying, uh, Gear Two, Luffy versus uh, Kuzan, and they're saying Gear Two Luffy beats Kuzan. I'm like, are you st are you daft? Like, are you stupid? Like, does there's no way how does that even make what story are you reading like what story have you, like luffy has never beaten an admiral so why all the downplay oh because green bull green bull is not on the same level as kuzan he's not on the same level as akino he's not on the same level as as any of these guys as the old ex original like admirals like clearly like what what are we what are we talking like what what's going on you know what i mean so this is kind of the problem people create so much headcanon it's like the sanji fans he's stronger than zoro he's not he's he's not stronger than zoro like it's obvious it, narratively speaking he can't be and he, he he's just not stronger than zoro it like i, I don't understand i, I just i it, it hurts my brain to be honest like I listen, those arguments that people have that I don't agree with, but I can understand where it comes from. So I'm never gonna like shit on it. You know what I'm saying? And then those arguments, it's just like, are you reading the shape blind? Are you reading two piece? Because it can't be one piece that you're reading. Like, what are you talking about? And I'm very new to the community, and I feel like I have a better grasp and understanding of the story and the characters and the narrative than most of the bumbling idiots on Twitter and on YouTube. That is just talking about whatever the fuck they're talking about. Listen, I don't mind. I don't mind. This video can get hella hate. You can comment. We can have discussions down below. And I can try to explain to you more thoroughly why you're probably wrong if you disagree. <laughs> if you disagree. Uh, or if you come up with some fantastic points, I can commend you for proving me wrong or for being correct. Or for having a sound argument. But it's when the argument just comes down to... Oh, Luffy punched Kaido, so base Luffy beats Kuza. No, literally, actually, the argument was even dumber. They said base Luffy beats Kuza. Base Luffy beats what? Did the man that took three Gear Fives to beat fucking a Ka Kaido? You t uh. listen. I think the admirals are gonna showcase some shit. But the thing is, the the crazy thing about this, right? And this is, again, narrative. This is the problem with, like, people not understand narrative. The problem... The problem with even thinking that... That 
that Luffy defeats Kuzan in base. That means he defeats Akaino easily. And obviously Akaino is going to be one of the final villains. Or a late villain. So how the... F if he's going to... And we know that they're comparable. Because they fought for 10 days at a stalemate. And... and <sighs> Listen. Listen. If Kuzan and Akaino are fighting for 10 days... Hey, Luffy doesn't even have the stamina to fight for freaking one day, let alone 10 days. He needed like 10 meals in between fighting Kaido. So where... If Akaino is going to be a later villain, then Kaido. Right? What makes you think that he's going to lose to base... Luffy. Come on now. And Kuzan obviously is comparable to Akaido. Akaido, Jesus Christ. The names are so freaking similar. Akaido. <laughs> He's comparable to Akaido because they stalemated for 10 days. Therefore, if you say think that base Luffy beats you know Kuzan, then obviously. Base Luffy's probably beats Akaino. So what's the point of the rest of the story? He might as well just fight Emu the next 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 major fight. We might as well just get to that. The same Kuzan that was ready to take on all the Blackbeard pirates with Blackbeard there by himself. That same Kuzan loses to base, base Luffy. Are you crazy? Are you like is your brain functioning? Like what <sighs> I think a lot of these people are fans of the characters and not really of the story. And they don't know what's happening with the story. What's happening with what Oda is setting up. And then they have the audacity to compare One Piece to other works of fiction. When they can't even understand the work of fiction that they're reading and they're loving and they're cherishing and they're pushing to the moon. They don't even understand it. And yet, the same people are trying to compare... Bro... First, at least understand the story reading before you start talking shit about other pieces, bro. <sighs> One Piece has a lot of flaws, guys. It's not just pacing. There's a lot of flaws. It probably has more flaws than most of the manga you're shit talking. Success does not always equal the best. Crazy, I know, I know. Number one selling manga, oh my god. Yeah. Endgame is number one selling movie all time. It's not even the best Marvel movie. You know? So, like, uh, it just frustrates me at this point, to be honest. It's like, I enjoy making One Piece videos. I enjoy talking about stuff. I enjoy just making videos in general, but I... I uh, I, I can't stand illegitimate arguments, like head y arguments. You know, this is this because I think it's this. Obviously, it's this. Why is it obvious that it's this? Like Kobe, me saying Kobe is 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 has the highest potential in the whole story. It come from, comes from the fact that it took him the shortest amount of time to get to his level than he's taken anybody else in the story. Luffy has been fighting and training for over 10 years. Zoro has been fighting and training for over 10 years. You can say Sanji has probably been fighting for over 10 years as well since he's been fighting. A, he's, he's freaking modified. B, he's been fighting, you know, whoever tries to attack those, their, their, their uh, little C shop whatever for years so got some practice got his ass beat by the chef yada 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 obviously he's way stronger than he actually ought to be he's he's probably another one that i'll say is potential is crazy but again he's augmented so we don't really know i know that they start to get taken full effect now but it kind of feels like they must have had some effect and also oh yeah actually he did train as a little child he's he's 
parents, his dad especially, was making them all fight and do crazy shit. So he has way more experience than Kobe. All of these guys have way more experience than Kobe. But Kobe is now doing conquerors, hockey, destroying islands type shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing some crazy ass feet. He un <laughs> he unlocked future sight in Marine Ford, bro. Do you know how crazy that is? He unlocked hockey so early. Like a year, less than a year from being a Marine, bro. Oh, like a year from being a Marine, he unlocked. <laughs> oh, man. And the whole gap thing, oh, my God. I don't even want to talk about the gap thing. Oh, somebody made a video about... Garp being stronger than Prime Whitebeard. And this the reason they said that that was the case was because um Roger and 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 Garp fought Zebek and his crew. And obviously in the crew you had Whitebeard, you had uh Big Mom, you had all of these people, right? Now, A few problem with it, few problems with it. That Whitebeard was not Prime Whitebeard crazy i know he was like 30 something but he, he was not prime white beard right prime white beard is when he had his own crew right prime big mom is also when she had her own crew right prime kaido is when he had his own crew all of these guys became to the prime after that probably helped them get to the prime now people are using age as if that really matters if you look at like Whitebeard, he might have not even had his 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 devil fruit. Then we don't even know. We know Big Man had ours, right? But we also don't know. Did Roger do eighty percent of the work? Did they only both fight Zebek? Both of them combined against Zebek, and then the the rest of the admirals and other people were there to fight the other people. But them two were the heroes because they defeated the strongest. We don't know. We, we don't have the freaking information. But you know what we do know? When Roger died and Whitebeard... Actually, before Roger died, when before when Whitebeard finally got to his prime and he fought one-on-one. -on -one, one on one right? This is the same Roger that beat, allegedly, Whitgap beat the whole Zebek crew, the Rocks Pirate, beat them all, them two, allegedly, by themselves, this is how the head cannon is I by themselves sure they did it. The same Roger is stalemating with Whitebeard when they face one on one a few years later. What does that tell you? Whitebeard clearly was not in his prime before that. Because if he's stalemating with Roger now, that means if he was that strong before, there's no chance of Garb and, and Roger winning. Because <laughs> the back was obviously stronger than, than Whitebeard. Since he was the leader. Or maybe he wasn't. So, it just doesn't add up. We're obviously missing too much information to come to that conclusion. But we do know that Whitebeard was called the strongest in the world afterwards. Yeah? When Roger died, Whitebeard was known as the strongest in the world. Now, obviously, by the time we meet him in the story, it's like 20 odd years later. That prime is obviously fucking gone and he's dying sick. Obviously, the title is going to stay because... Nobody has beaten him since. But he's obviously no longer the strongest, as we saw in Marineford. Because he's dying sick. Excuse me. Right? So that's the problem. Um, And he's like 70-something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So then people are like, Gap was stronger than Whitebeard. It's like, how the hell do you know? Like, we've never seen Prime Gap. We've never seen Prime Whitebeard. Well, we have. And he stalemated Roger. The strongest pirate in history, allegedly. So, what, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, a lot of people forget that Kaido has lost to a bunch of people. I think when we were first introduced to him, it says that he lost to, I think, I can't remember who exactly. He lost to... Did he lose to Shanks? I can't even remember. But he lost a few fights, but he couldn't die. 
I think that was like the whole situation. I'm gonna go back and reread it and make a whole video on Kaido and why I think people miss scale Kaido all the time. But I have to reread it. Um, but I think a lot of it is look a lot of it as well is because people have read it as it comes out, and so I think a lot of the information becomes muddied. I read it all in a space of like two months, so I I freshly remember most things, and I think that's why I have a more comprehensive understanding of One Piece. I think than a lot of fans. Right, unless apart from the ones that go back and reread it several times over, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's the issue. I think a lot of people argue based off just the anime or based off just the manga without going back and rereading and rechecking and 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 re like reminding themselves of the details that they might have missed. And so that's where you come up with these kind of these weird arguments that just pop out of nowhere. Base Luffy beating Kuzan is crazy. There's not a chance in hell Oda would ever do that. It would be plain stupid if he did that. And he's not a stupid man. So, I don't know what y'all talking about. But listen, that's I just wanted to rant about One Piece fans in regards to everything. Because, honestly, it was... Man, I was, Never mind. I was, I was going to say something crazy, but I'm going to just leave it off. I'm going to leave it up. Listen, if, you, if you're an admiral level... Because admirals are beasts. Apart from Green Bull, he's a fucking fraud. Admirals are beasts. Or if you are your uncle, because their mom was beasts too. Apart from Kid, he's, he's he's not really a fraud, but I'll, ex I'll, I'll explain why Kid is not a fraud, despite what everybody thinks. Uh, and why narratively him getting one shot by Shanks is not an anti feat. And that's where my research on Kaido will also come in and why I think people have a misconception of Kaido. Uh, I might even... See, I'm literally going to slap panels for that video. So that's going to take a while for me to do because you know I don't edit videos uh, because I'm just I'm just too busy. Um, yeah, I've dropped a song every single day this month. Link in the link in description on my Spotify. So you can tell I'm pretty drained and I'm also dropping videos almost every every two days or so for you guys i dropped two videos yesterday you know what i'm saying so i'm really i'm really on overload i also work full time i also do youth work i also do some other stuff i do open mic i do events so my my, my time is is you know what i'm saying but anyways listen let's discuss down below you know what i'm saying though are bumbling idiots I don't really want to hear from y'all. If your hacky level is not top tier, don't talk to me. You got to get your hacky up, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Got to get your hacky up, my boy. You know what I'm saying? If you're not, if you're not at least first general power, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not messing with you. Like, I need top tier generals and above only. That's the only, you know what I'm saying, that I'm playing. But it's been your boys, appreciate the God. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and, you know, subscribe. And if, if you dislike the video, dislike it, but at least comment down your reasons and let's have a discussion. I'm out. Also, also, Oda is not the best writer in the history of the world, guys. He's good at characters, though, when he wants to be. But he's freaking... I'm not going to say no more, but he's not the best storyteller of all time, guys. I know. I know. It's crazy. It hurts. Listen, Naruto's my favorite manga of all time. And guess what? Kishimoto is not the greatest writer of all time. <gasps> Attack on Titan, I think, is my favorite written story. He's also not the best writer of all time. <gasps> wow, that's crazy. <laughs>